So this is a question from Victor. He has asked, is there any function in P6 to reflect recurring activities? For instance, we might have a three-day training once a month, let's say every Wednesday or Friday, or every three Wednesday to Friday of every third week, maybe in different locations. In addition, every time two or three people should be involved, the same people, plus every time we bear different transportation, lodging, per diem expenses. How can we arrange this in P6? What's the best way? Great question, Victor. Um, let's get right to it. There is no function in P6 to reflect recurring activities. Now, uh, thinking back to some of the other tools that we might have worked like with, um, Microsoft Project, I believe, does allow you to set up recurring activities. Uh, but unfortunately, in P6, we don't have that uh, feature. So that means that this puts a little bit more work in your seat to actually build in the activities to capture all of those um, trainings, for example, or the meetings. Um, it's a little tricky here. I think there's a decision you want to make as to whether to include those things in the schedule or not. And since Victor here is asking about, um, you know, there's a little bit about per diem expenses, lodging, transportation. I'm getting the sense that maybe we want to have those in the schedule because there are costs associated with them. We want to track the costs associated in the schedule as well. So we have, have that sort of complete picture of schedule and cost. Um, but you definitely want to ask yourself whether it's of value to include these sorts of activities in the schedule or um, or not. You, so you might simply choose to leave them out, but if there's reason to include them, um, you know, it might be easy to just have them in people's calendars rather than to put them in the schedule. But if you want that complete picture of cost, then you probably will need them in the schedule. Um, a couple things you can do, and uh, why don't I just flip over to P6 and we'll have a quick look. Okay, so I have a pretty generic project here. Um, one of the things you can do is, you know, add an activity that represents the meeting like that, and you can copy and paste it. Now, I know this doesn't make life that much easier, but note, notice when you copy and paste, if you had assigned all of your resources, the three resources, same resources to that meeting, you can copy those assignments. So every copy activity will also have the uh, assignments, uh, including relationships here as well. So there's, and expenses. So, so these things can all be um, copied along with that activity. So you can just copy them and we'll just incre increase the value. And then we can just paste. Now, every time I paste, it's going to ask me these options. Unfortunately, unless I do something like this, where I said, don't show this dialogue again. And what it'll say here is you can reset the options the next time you run the application. So essentially, if you want these pop-up boxes to come back, you would have to exit P6 and reload P6 in order for them to come back next time. And same thing with this one. Okay, so you can copy all the activities and then schedule them. Uh, you might put lags between them, like link them all, and then put a lag between them, or you might just use a constraint to constrain them to a certain day. Um, another thing you could do is you could use a, a WBS summary activity um, to represent the meetings. So monthly meetings. Okay, and when I set an activity to be WBS summary here on the activity type, the length of that activity will automatically grow. The duration of that activity will automatically grow to match the WBS it's under. And so since it's under commercial construction, the top node will end up with the same uh, duration there once I reschedule. So if I go ahead and reschedule, we'll see the same duration matching. And, and so that's what a WBS summary activity does. Now, 
notice because this guy has actuals, it's also summarizing the actuals. But you could put put the activity here as running all during the project. And then you could simply add your resource assignments sort of more at a summary level to capture the amount of hours that are required for those meetings or the costs required for all of the meetings during the entire project. So that's your probably your second option. First option is to simply add an activity for each meeting in noting that you know if your project extends uh, for another month or two or three, then it's your job to continue to add additional activities there. And the advantage of using the WBS summary is that if your project expands, the length of that dura the duration of that activity will automatically expand as well. And uh, the costs can be programmed to expand as well uh, based on based on the duration of the activity. So I sort of lean towards the summary activity to keep things simple, but you might have different requirements from your clients or uh, you know, other people who are imposing requirements on the schedule. So those are a couple different ways you can handle recurring activities in P6. Unfortunately, there's not a really nice way to do it. Uh, and there's a bit more of a manual effort, but who knows, maybe they'll add a new feature in the future that can handle recurring activities. Hey, Evan from Plan Academy here. Hope you liked that video. If you did, feel free to give it a like down below. It really helps out the channel and we appreciate it. Also, you can subscribe if you haven't already to make sure you stay in the loop. Speaking of staying in the loop, if you checked out our website, planacademy.com, if you wanna check that out, it's right here at the end of all of our videos. Of course, you can just keep watching. See you in the next one.